Okay, I thought I'd uh, just try this uh, Voco screen thing, which is pretty cool on its own. I'm on my uh, my new laptop here. And hopefully we're looking at the screen here where I am editing or showing how to edit. I do things in Glade. I can, for example, add GUI elements here. I carefully left a blank spot. And I can put a grid in there. And it'll put it in there. And then I can put things in the grid if I want to. And change the text down here and make it this crap. <clears throat> Add buttons, do whatever the hell I want. Uh, save it. This generates a bunch of XML. Uh, you can either leave it as a file.glade um, and then ship that along with your uh, uh, program that actually does all this crap. Or you can put it right in your program like I did here in my Perl. My whole Perl main program here is there in it which is just above. Uh, this is all the bullshit that comes out of the Glade editor for that program, which I simply copied out of the file. <coughs> and um, yep, <laughs> got to make sure it knows that page down means page down and not <laughs> number three. So I didn't have to write any of that crap. And what happens is up there in the Glade editor, you can change uh, things like um, <clears throat> or, or set up events like on something changed, on something changed, blah, 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 in Glade. And then when you click on that button or whatever happened, it calls the Perl thing automatically. It's, this is just like magic. It's great. <clears throat> so I have two choices here. Uh, you only use one of these, create GUI from a file, blah, 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 blah. I use a little trick to know what directory I'm in so it can assume that the thing's in the same directory. Or from that crap at the end of the... Uh, the Perl program, which is called a special file called data here. So anyway, this is a pretty nice uh, little thing. This is uh, computing uh, time to distance and uh, volts from speed and speed from volts of charged particles for the fuser stuff. Um, and this is also a pretty nice editor I'm using here. This is called Sublime Text. It's a pay for thing, but it would seem like it was worth the money. <laughs> and I thought I'd just do this as a test to see if you can even get it and it's not a stupid size. So. Um, I'm liking this, and I'm just wishing GTK3 wasn't so damn hard to put in as a Perl module into uh, Linux, because uh, otherwise you can pretty much send people a program that is a Barney Strew Strip install. Just copy it into your machine and go. Okay, well, all for now. And stop.